we've lived in Fayetteville for about, oh, I'd say close to 14, 13, 14 years. Um, and we have twin boys, Roe and Ryder, that are five. What's your name? Ro. Ro. What's your name? Ryder. Ryder. Okay. Are y'all cousins or? Twins! Ro is uh, first born and he's uh, a little more quiet, a little more reserved than Ryder, our second born. Uh, he is uh, very outgoing, outspoken. Last February, and um, Ryder had a really bad kind of creepy cough. He had just gotten over the flu, so I'd taken him in to see Dr. Susan Averett. And at that time, it was a sick visit, but we have started doing blood pressures on all our patients um, in that age group, even if they're sick. And I noticed that his blood pressure was very elevated. As a mom, I'm thinking, what could be wrong? How does my four-year-old have high blood pressure? And uh, we found that the blood pressures in his legs were quite a bit lower than these elevated blood pressures in his arms, which made me very suspicious for the diagnosis of a coarctation of the aorta. They got us into Children's in Little Rock the next day, and um, we were told then how how severe it really was. They diagnosed that it was a coarctation of the aorta, and it was very severe. Find out till four years later where, where most people who have a congenital heart defect with a, with, with a child, they either find out within days of being born or, or sometimes the, the, within minutes of being born. So yeah, we, but it was a big shock. It's a type of, of heart surgery, but if they don't open the main part of your chest, they go in through the back. Um, and then they go between two ribs and they open up to where you can see the heart. They um, actually put a clamp on the blood flow that goes out of the heart and then they just remove the very small portion of the hose that's kinked and then sew the two ends back together. He soared through it with flying colors. I mean, he, he really, he's, he's He's a mess, but he's, he's truly one of the strongest and bravest little boys I know. We wheeled Ryder up to the, to the window uh, where Ro could just get off the elevator and look at him. And when they saw each other, they started crying because um, they wanted to see each other. So that was kind of heartbreaking. Ryder seems to be doing great. You would never know by looking at Ryder that he has been through the cardiac surgery this year, but he's bounced back. Um, his energy level is through the roof actually, and he um, is very kind and sweet little boy um, who otherwise seems completely healthy and can do anything that his peers do. We definitely live our life differently. Um, I mean, definitely we, uh, families first. Um, it's not about what event we're going to or, um, our date nights have probably slimmed down some too because it's just um, the quality of time that we, that we have as the four of us. The American Heart Association has a very passionate goal to help reduce the number of patients who suffer from congenital heart disease and to also make uh, an effort to diagnose congenital heart disease at an earlier time. He will have congenital heart disease for forever and so we consider ourselves so blessed and lucky that he was taken care of and he can lead a normal healthy life but now it's I think it's our time to uh, get the prevention and awareness out there and that's that's what we want to do with it and I think I think Ryder's going to do something huge with it too I mean I, I really do.